Salutations, Space Cadets, and thank you so much for landing back on my channel for today's mission. We have yet another patch notes video. This one is for 11 21 2023 for DC Dual Force. This time, not a super huge patch, but some actual interesting quality of life improvements that have been added to the game. It's been very nice, honestly. So, we're gonna go through those a little bit. Uh, we're gonna quickly go over the you know the gameplay section and the general section, and then we're gonna show you in game exactly what has changed a little bit and it's, it's been pretty nice and we're gonna go over the new comic card as well I haven't, I haven't done like the past couple of patch notes because it wasn't super huge uh either like you know for the thing like the batch patches those are actually huge but they're like a bunch of bug fixes so i didn't know if you guys want me to do that if you still want me to do every single patch i will honestly i, I don't mind uh just let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado let's get into it so the comic for today is jsa virtue vice and pumpkin pie comic adventure this one is ro revolving around thanksgiving um, i don't know if any other country celebrates that other than america but dc is an american company i think so yeah i guess it makes sense um but uh yeah full screen deck summary has been added click the magnifying glass in the lower right the recording to see them now this is very interesting you might even see this during our deck you know spotlights and and meme dreams and stuff like that it's, it's pretty nice honestly I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go into that additional performance improvements then on the gameplay side we got the penguin abilities and only triggers off a of ko from attacks Maybe it procked off of things like, uh, what's his name, uh, Two-Face or something? Uh, that hasn't happened to me, and I'm glad it didn't, because that would be obvious that this is a comic-related thing. Uh, resources are now active when you hide the activation window. No clue what that means. Fix various issues with the ultra monitors and comic selections. An empty deck now has a text telling the player to drag cards there to build the deck. So, uh, so if you're like a newer player and you didn't know how to add cards into your deck, um, cause it's not like you just push one button. You can double click in order to put in your deck, but it also lets you, t it tells you, Hey, drag one in, in the deck slide and then boom, you can build your deck. New decks will now automatically have four emotes attached. So let's say for instance, sometimes you're like, Oh, you feel, you feel bad that you're like, Oh man, I didn't have any emotes equipped. I forgot to equip my emotes. So it automatically equip four of them. I think some general ones, you know, I think it at least gives you like a wave and some and stuff like that. I don't know if it's a different one each time or if it's always going to uh, be the select four, but we can look into it. Um, once we get into the game. Uh, pips no longer incorrectly move with the card when dragging a card into the deck during deck building. Fix various sound effects in the comic ventures. Quickly pressing the button stats. Uh, button will no longer cause visual issues. Necron's start ability sound effect has risen from the game. And Solomon Grundy's par parting shot ability sound effects have returned. No, <laughs> no one wanted us to roll that joke twice. I like this one. I like <laughs> when I first read this, Necron's start ability sound effects has risen from the grave. I, I, I cracked up a little bit. All right, now let's go into game and see some of those changes in action. So first and foremost, giving thanks is uh, the new card. This one is a free might card that is uh, a rare as well, so easy to craft. But because I think this is a gold one, unless the, that is um, a mistake where it says gold comic. I believe they said some of the icons are messed up. Um, but yeah, it says give all leaders all keep that in mind plus two health and uh, charge them. So, I, I already recorded a couple of videos revolving around it. We have a Black Adam Aquaman deck revolving around that. And we also have, you know, all the way back when I had the Batman Aquaman deck. Um, I really loved that one. That was a revolved around turbocharging. So, we added that in there. Um, you know, it's probably copium. It's probably not that good, to be honest. Uh, charging your opponent's leaders doesn't seem the best. Uh, it'd be cool if we got a card one day that said your opponent skips... Uh, your charge until the next turn and then so you play giving things and then only you get charged but of course it doesn't exist but yeah it's I mean it's not the worst card ever printed but you're probably not putting that in a lot of decks but I could see it sometime in the future maybe you never know why not but uh, yeah so let's get into some of the other stuff uh, first and foremost let's go into the deck um, when you're going to the deck building, you can now see with this little magnifying glass how the deck looks. So let's go for our, you know, nice free to play Flash Harley deck. It now has this nice thing set up. You can even hover over them as well. It shows you the breakdown. I don't even know what this part means. Maybe like some curve thing. No clue. Uh, it shows all the rarities you have in there. The Even the deluxe I, I think I have in here as well. Shows a nice little picture of the two leaders that you have. 
It's really clean, honestly. It's really clean. The only thing I would um, have it change is, so you, you have this nice little screenshot button, so um, I'll automatically screenshot it for you, but it's like a literal screenshot, so it doesn't give you like a, a transparent background version of it. So I would really like it if it had the transparent background part, uh, so that right now you would see like the Brave and the, the, the Bolts deck in the background, you'll see all these emotes in the background, all that stuff in the background. So if it was nice transparent background, that'd be very nice because I'll really start using those uh, for the video. But seeing how they just added it, and this is the first iteration of it, it's already really good, honestly, in my opinion. And then I think, what, what was the last thing? Hold on, let me check out. I'll, we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remembered. So they, this wasn't in the actual patch notes, but they did update how the deluxe looks a little bit. So you can see now the little the shiny parts at the bottom that has like a few more waves going along to it. It's pretty nice. Honestly, it's, 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 a, it's a noticeably more beautiful. Honestly, I don't know what kind of screen that you have, but when I'm looking at it here, it's, it looks really nice um, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's pretty sick. But that's going to be all for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you like it and subscribe. We're trying to hit monetization on the channel. We need a thousand subscribers for that. I believe only uh, about 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. This came all the way down from 68% not subscribed to the channel all the way down to 50%. So we're making good, good leeway. So if you can keep subscribing, I greatly appreciate that. And comment down below. What do you want to see changed? Oh, I forgot to mention, actually, they did say that um, balance changes are coming next week so be prepared for that uh, if you've been waiting for balance changes for a while they you know they kind of skipped out a little bit on it for at least any, any super impactful ones for a little bit now but they should um, have a little bit more of impactful ones coming next week I believe um, but yeah and um, we do stream a Monday through Fridays on the Twitch channel and the YouTube channel, but right now on the Twitch side of things, drops are now happening for World's Finest. For all the streamers that hit World's Finest by the 21st, there's a new um, set of drops. You can get an alt art Batgirl, as well as some atoms for your crafting, as well as some Omni cards for crafting as well, and some gold. So you get a lot of stuff. For just for watching a stream for about four hours and there's also another set just for everyone that that streams um, DC Duel Force can also give you a super bat profile um, picture some more um, Omni cards I think and uh, some more goals you're getting a ton just for watching the stream so come on by I'll be live at 11 a.m. PST and uh, yeah come hang out but hey that's gonna be all for me I'll be blasting off and I'll see you soon space cadets Wow, that video was pretty good, don't you think? Well, if you do, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you see more just like it. But hey, that's going to be all from me. I'll be blasting off, and I'll see you soon, Space Cadets.